welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be about this makeup look and before anything else please remember to subscribe to my channel and to like this video. And yes, my hair are shorter. I cut them and I love them. So yeah, and let's go to the video. Bye, see you later. Okay, so first thing we're gonna apply the Laura Mercier foundation primer, primer in the radiance all over the face. because I'm gonna apply a heavier foundation today. So I want something that brightens up everything a bit more. Okay, I'm going to apply the Trish McAvoy Eye Base Essential all over the lid. Because I wanna use quite pigmented eyeshadows today. So we need to make sure that everything is going to stay on place. Okay, after the base, we are going to use two little pieces of tape. And I'm going to place it exactly where my brow end and where my eye end as well. Here. This is basically going to be our guideline. Now, with our new Spectrum palette from Zoeva, I'm going to take the shade ND130, that is one of the lighter shades, and I'm going to place it on top of my eyelid, basically everywhere. So inside corner, outside corner, and brow bone as well. From the same palette, I'm going to take the ND150, that is this beige color and this is going to be our transaction color and I'm going to place it inside the crease and because we put the tape before this is going to be really really defined and we just blend it inside always from the same palette I'm going to take the I can't really read the names here. N C or N D, I don't know, 040. Anyway, it's this slightly more yellow undertone. And again, I'm gonna place it inside the crease and I'm gonna take it a little bit down as well over here. Just in the corner, basically, just here. Okay, now, always from the same palette, I'm going to take this shade here that is more like a grey, browny, reddish undertone. But what we're going to do with this, we're going to wet the colour. So I'm going to use the Finish Line uh, Shadow Transformer, this, this thingy here, that I'm going to make, basically, my eyeshadow a little bit wet, so it gets more pigmented and I will show you what to do basically just make your eyeshadow wet and more pigmented that's what we're gonna do okay I wet my eyeshadow here so now I'm literally gonna pat the color on my crease you can see how pigmented it gets And again, we're going to do the other eye as well. Okay, now I'm going to take the darker shade from the palette that is this here. It's like a copper matte shade. And I'm going to define my crease a bit more. Okay, now with the clean brush, I'm just gonna blend everything and take it off the excess of eyeshadow. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna take the Kiko gel liner in jet black and we're gonna create our liner. So this liner is really, really, really creamy, but it dries out really quickly as well. So we need to be quick. That's why I put the tape, because I don't have time to do it again. And with an angle brush, I'm just gonna define my line. Okay girls, I tried to do it on camera, but my mirror is just over there, so I can't really get too close. So I did it off camera, but this is what it looks like. So I like to do it thinner and thicker, but when we're gonna take it off the tape, you can actually see the shape. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, now we can take it off the tape, if it comes off. There we go. And you can see how defined everything is. Ta -da. Okay, now before I do anything else, I'm gonna use the brown mascara natural brunette, the Trish McAvoy, and I'm going to do my brows. What I'm doing now, I'm just taking a little bit of the color with an angle brush, and I like to fill my brows in like this first and then just with the brush Okay, now we can start to apply the foundation so I'm going to use as always my Maybelline anti-age eraser concealer in a triangle and I'm gonna take it off all the rednesses and especially any of the eyeshadow that fell out before and I'm gonna clean everything a little bit here a little bit here like this and then my Mikasa sponge and I'm just blending everything together. Today I'm gonna go back to one of my best and favorite foundation and is the L'Oreal True Match foundation. My shade is the 3D3W Beige Door, Golden Beige. I love this foundation. And I'm gonna just apply two pump on the back of my hand and just use the sponge. You don't really need too much foundation if you apply that much concealer all around. It's just gonna even up everything a bit more. Okay, foundation is done. Now we need to finish the eyes because they're not done yet. So I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, so now let's go back to the nude spectrum. And with the darker shade, this one here and with an angle brush I'm just gonna define the lower lash line and smoke it out now today to complete the look I'm gonna use my Ailer Enance false lashes so I never tried those, I think they are quite new. Oh, they are limited edition. And so let's see how it goes. I'm gonna put it on off camera, just because again, my mirror is there, I can't really show you guys how to apply. But if you like, I can do a video about this, about how to apply for lashes. So I'm gonna go. To be honest, I'm really impressed with those lashes, they're really nice, really natural. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara just on the bottom lashes and a little bit, a little bit, a little bit in the upper lashes as well, just to stick everything together. But they look really nice. Okay, so eyes are done. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna contour, highlight and blush our face. So for the contour, I'm gonna use the Contour Spectrum from Zoeva. It's this contour palette 
and I'm gonna use my Mikasa brush this is well one of the new brushes I will take these two colors here and mix them together whoa that's a lot I love this brush, brush, not blush, to contour it. It blends really nicely. Okay, bronzer is done. Now, obviously, as a highlighter, I will use my Laura Mercier, um, I can't remember the name anymore matte radiance baked powder and i'm just going literally everywhere with this so today for the lipstick i'm obviously gonna use my cosmo from mac because those eyes are really strong so i wanted to do a red but for today i think i'm gonna give up on red and just put my cosmo that it always goes with everything you don't really need a lip liner i mean you can if you want to but you don't have to done Okay girls, so this is my makeup for today. I hope you like it. I really, really like it actually. I'm not used to heavy makeup anymore, but I really like it and I love those lashes. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and remember to subscribe to my channel and like to this video. And hope to see you to the next one. Bye, see you.